Hello everybody, I just moved into my new apartment and I thought I'd show you around like I usually do. If I sound overly jazzed about one aspect of this place, it's probably because for the past year I've been living somewhere that didn't have it or had a really crappy version of it or what have you. So this is a one bedroom, one bath apartment that I share with my boyfriend. So I'm gonna start you off at the front door here. This is where we keep our keys, little dog butts. If you want to know where anything is from just let me know in the comments and i will try my best to find where i got it and we have a sliding door with a little patio area that is just surrounded by bushes it's where i keep my bike and there's another plant there that you can't see and here is our living room we've got two end tables that have little baskets underneath that hold blankets i love blankets and i'm always freezing over here we've got our yoga mats the book I'm working on, so right, I always have to have chapstick with me. I mentioned that in other videos, like always. This is a little container where we keep Shelby's treats and then she has a little bowl to eat them on. My most recent tour, I don't think is on this channel. I think it's on the Minimal Maddox channel. So if you want to see that, check that out. It is a sleeper sofa with like a chaise lounge here. So this is like the regular layout, but we keep it open all the time just because it's cozier that way. And that is a plyo box under there. And around the other side, TV set up on this antique table that is still covered in like moving particles. <laughs> we moved in like less than a week ago. So I have two candlesticks that are like chicken feet that I love. And then down here, we've got some like yoga supplies, dumbbells, like a plate and candle, the Xbox, stuff like that. This is Shelby's little tent thing that she doesn't use. The other end table, we have a salt lamp. That's where the remotes stay, more blankets. This thermostat is like digital, it's wild. And of course my enormous tapestry that I've had forever. All right, through this way is like the den area that we're using as our office space. We did come from a two bedroom, two bath, and we were using the second bedroom as the office, but this works just fine. Over on this side are my ears and horns that I've made. This whole shelf is all art supplies. Just this is art supplies and the rest of it is for Graves and Sass. Check the link in the description if you'd like to shop there. And then I've just got random like doodles stuck in on the side there like rulers and all that jazz. This is my desk. This is all the hardware for Graves and Sass and you know pencil case. This is full of stuff for my bullet journal. I got this at Disney mug that is full of writing supplies, charger, those are packages that need to go out, my journal, computer, iPad, stuff like that. It's my mannequin. I just made this chicken apron yesterday and if you want to see a little bit of behind the scenes on that, check out the TikTok that will go with it. Uh, this shelf is all Alex's stuff. Down here is all my makeup and video recording and of course a wig head. And then this box is full of like incense and essential oils and things. And I got this lovely bust from my friend Zaina. And this is Alex's desk and his bulletin board and all his stuff. I've got the chest that's been with me forever. It is full of recording equipment and wigs and drag. We only have one like room rug and it only fit in here. So that's this room right across into the kitchen. The place we were in before was completely cut off. It had a wall coming around and then it kind of went in on all, each side and it was just like the narrowest little hallway. Like we couldn't pass each other in there. It was very dark and dismal and had absolutely no storage to the point where we had like 50% of our kitchen stuff in the kitchen and then like 50% of it was on like a rolling cart in the hallway and then in my antique secretary, which I'll show you in a little bit. But this stores all of our kitchen stuff in the top halves of like all the cabinets are empty. That one on the end is completely empty. Like we have so much space that we will never use and a working dishwasher, which is very exciting. We have the sink that's got like this going on, love it and pendant lights like this is so fancy we feel like we're in a hotel sometimes it's so open and looks at the rest of the apartment love it love it love it love it don't mind the dishes drying there but uh you know hand sanitizer candles everywhere all the time this drawer like our junk drawer has got like eight more candles in it yeah big old sink a whole ass pantry for food storage 
We didn't have anywhere to put our food last time. We had like a rolling cart with potatoes on it. And then like I had to buy another shelf to hold bananas. And then we had a tiny cabinet that was like half the size of this that was full of like rice and pasta and stuff. So fridge, of course, you know, kettle and bulk stuff out here. We've got like spoon holder and trivet, blender. These are all my uh, protein things, cutting board, all that cat her stuff and yeah we love this kitchen here's our dining room i have our calendar up there and i created this little wall of all of our little things the plan is i can fill it up with smaller stuff and add to it as time goes on i'm happy with this so far got our dining table just a little stuff on there and here is the secretary which before the whole bottom was filled with pots and pans and cans of food and stuff like that our junk drawer was actually this top part because it folds open and has a little storage in there i have an entire video about all the stuff that's in there so we won't go too much into it but it's basically oddities and this whole bottom half is at this point full of board games and the old woman's little set up there. I've got my flags back up. This is the bathroom. I forgot to turn on the light. I have my bath tray here that I made. I have this hanger that has like my robe and this is like a delicate bag where I throw in my used like makeup remover rounds. And behind here, this is perhaps the most exciting thing. We have a washer and dryer. So exciting. We didn't before, and we had to go to great lengths to do our laundry. That's all I'm gonna say. Regular sized bathroom. We had a little teeny tiny ones before. We each had our own because legitimately we both wouldn't be able to fit all of our belongings into one bathroom. But this bathroom has so much space. The tub is huge. I mean, as far as tubs that I've had in my life. The shower head is up super high, which is good because Alex is very tall. I've got this wall of like self-care stuff. I had enough room to put a poster in here. Like this is insane. This is insane to me. All right, this is like a storage closet. Back here is like the mechanical and utility stuff. And here is our bedroom. Got a lot of art in here. And our bed, all black. I love that snake pillow. Uh, we both have relatively the same nightstand where we keep our books underneath. That's my alarm clock fan. There's no fan or lights in the ceilings of most of the rooms here, which is pretty typical. And this is what we're doing for a dresser right now. I don't know what the ultimate plan will be, but I don't hate this. It fits our clothes just fine. We don't own a lot of clothing, so. Here, a gym bag on top. This is where I keep all of my jewelry, it's my phone charger, that is a essential oil diffuser and a speaker. And then we've got a closet in the corner with no door. But that is fine. There was a door on it. It didn't open very far and it made it really hard to like get in and out of the closet, which was going to get really annoying. So just popped it off preemptively. And yep, this is the new place. Let me know if you have any questions or if I should talk about anything in more detail. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.